Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rafe Cal. I accidentally pushed start, so we're starting. <laughs> this is the Zelda randomizer. Link to the past. Uh, I just did another run not too long ago, and I actually had another person who, another friend who's been running these, say, hey, I just did one. Would you, uh, would you play it? Or would you want to play it? He assured me that it was much less frustrating than the last one I did, so I'll take it. Um, oh my. This has the random starting item, apparently. I missed that. But it's the hammer, so we'll take it. As long as it's not swordless. <clears throat> if this happens to be swordless, then I'm gonna yell at Tony later. Um, <laughs> for not mentioning that. But I think it's, uh... There's a mode where you can randomize to a small extent what the uncle gives you. So it puts it in a pool with, like, the fire rod, the bow, and a couple other specific things that have, uh... Come on. That was good. Um, basically things that can kill standard enemies that have fairly decent ammunition, so you can get through the escape section. Um, which is really all I need. I do prefer having an actual sword, but... Maybe I'll yell at Tony for that later. <laughs> Maybe it'll be in the escape, then I won't need to. So yeah, if you haven't played this before, uh, Zelda Randomizer is... literally takes all the elements of Link to the Past, all the treasure chest locations, and mixes them up. Uh, that includes all of the NPC rewards, all of the uh, open items, like the heart, where the heart containers would normally be, items you receive from bosses, big chests, etc. Um, come on. Um, the game has a extremely complicated built-in logic engine, so you can't end up like, the keys are all in their correct dungeons. You have the right number of keys in every dungeon, and they are not behind the, the doors they unlock. Unless you don't need to go there. <laughs> um, it's that smart. It can it, it can put a key inside the chest, like, a big key inside the chest, so that you can't get it if you don't need it. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. So we don't have the compass yet. We've got four chests left uh, in the escape. Four? Four. Um, we need one more small key, which will be the next chest we get. So one of the three chests left is the compass, and the other two should be real items. Now, real items could include everything from, you know, a single arrow or five rupees to a sword or a magic ring or... Whatever. Magic Ring's not even in this game. I don't know what I'm talking about. Red mail, blue mail. Or, uh, the, the hook shot, or something useful. Uh, generally speaking, uh, the pendants and crystals also get mixed up, so we are not sure which dungeons we actually have to complete. The goal is just to get the seven crystals as fast as possible and beat Ganon. Um... So, items that unlock more options are good. Getting bombs early, getting a hammer, getting gloves, getting a hookshot are the things that let you progress through the game. In this particular case, getting a hammer early is nice, but it doesn't actually help us unless we pair it off with something besides doing a bunch of damage. 
Uh, hammer does the same damage as the tempered sword, the third sword you get. So. Yeah. Small key. Minimize how much time we spend walking in the water. We walk slower in the water. I don't think I ex explicitly mentioned it, but it just kind of implied it. Um, part of the point of these is to do it as fast as you can, like a race. Um, so, I am... Uh, this was sent to me by my friend Tony, like I said. And I'll be sending it on to my friends Mike and Kyle when it's done, because they are usually the people that I race against. That's a good start. So, none of the items I just got are super useful, um, as far as progression goes, which is ultimately the thing we need to do. <laughs> progress through the game. But we've got a lot of just open starting opportunities that are pretty much always available. One ruby. So our first goal is going to be to head to Kakariko Village and the Lost Woods. Uh, Lost Woods will just swing by real quick. There are two items in Lost Woods that are available right off the bat. Neither of them require anything to get them, and a lot of times they can be useful. We're also going to stop by the Lumberjack's Cave, because that'll uh, have an item setting on a ledge that we can't reach yet. Check this. Green root piece, not worth it. The item that gets dropped there is random. We'll also check this real quick. That is red rupees. We want to get a hundred before we get to Kakariko Village. So that's a good find. Check the Lumberjack Cave real quick. Shield. Not required. That also means that we don't need to go out of our way for shields because we know we can't get near her. Unless we do Agonim which hopefully we won't have to do. There's plenty of rupees in the game. The main thing is just getting that initial 100. From there, it'll come naturally from the fact that we're opening every treasure chest as we come across them. So, things like that 20 rupees that I just didn't pick up, that's because walking up there, playing that animation, and then walking back down takes time. And this is a race. <laughs> Ultimately, little things like that add up. It's not like they, the little things matter that much. I know I'm not playing on a level where it matters that much. <laughs> but they do still add up. And, you know, every time you, like, I bumped into two corners as I was walking out of Lost Woods. Is that a big deal? No. Does that add up? Yes. Getting really clean fights, like killing enemies quickly, um, not going out of your way to pick up things you don't need, stuff like that, adds up. Using boots efficiently, since we just found those right away, which is really awesome. Boots have a short startup, so using them is not always efficient. You have to know when you can use them to cut across a short distance, whether or versus where when you just need to not use them and try to line up your dash as well. Also, not bonking. Uh, bonking is a term for running into the wall, uh, which results in you bouncing back. Most of the time you want to avoid doing that because it does have a an additional animation. Glove. Okay. Glove plus hammer means we can actually get Dark World. We don't have uh, 
the Moon Pearl yet, but I'm guessing we're gonna find it fairly quickly. Hookshot. This is a ridiculous seed. <laughs> okay, so we don't have a sword yet, but we do have the hammer, the hookshot, uh, the boots. <sighs> Let's see. So if we find the lamp, we're probably going to start off by going up Death Mountain. Death Mountain plus gloves plus hookshot means we can do a ton of stuff, but we need the lamp to get through. Um, it's actually one of the most lucrative areas. Um, if we get the Moon Pearl, then we're probably going to go to Dark World instead. We don't have a bottle yet, so we can't do the Sick Kid. Bombs, not worth it. Mirror. We do want to go back and get that. It's good to check first, because the maze does take a little bit of time, especially getting- it's mostly just getting through the section. So, most of the time, your chances of it being a useful item are fairly low. Okay. <sighs> um, safe cut out. So, mirror's nice. Um actually not sure exactly how that works as far as the logic engine goes if you don't have the moon pearl but oh well that's also still leaning towards tower of hera being an early thing where as you push a block you activate the mirror and it will get rid of a block. Um, it only happens in the Japanese 1.0 version of the ROM and it only happens when you are not in a dungeon because using the mirror in a dungeon returns you to the entrance so keep that in mind when you're doing that trip. You can also uh, use that to shoot uh, the fire rod through a block which is useful in a couple puzzles. You can do that to uh, shoot the hook shot through a block to pull yourself through it, uh, which is another way to do that puzzle, or get through that little section there. That was terrible. Oh, we didn't actually need to do that. check ice cave since I've got boots. Normally I'm about 50-50 on whether I want to check uh oh crap. On whether or not I want to check uh ice cave. But having the boots means it's a lot faster. And having blue mail means I'm a lot less likely to get killed by crabs. So <laughs> Activated. Um, that also lets us bypass needing the lamp. <sighs> so we can go up to Death Mountain. Which is what we're going to do. Uh, sanctuary. 
So this is actually a ridiculously good seed. Um, I'm not going to count my blessings yet, but <laughs> this is starting off well. I suppose we should probably also check, uh, We'll do this quick. While we're waiting for the bird, we'll quick pop up to the map so we can actually check which dungeons we need to do. Okay. Yep, here is a crystal. That was my guess. Let's go knock out Tower of Hera. And the rest of... Um, yeah, we'll start... We'll start going this way. Russell Sprouts of Doom. never be able to unsee it. Okay. So we're gonna go this way because there are I think nine treasure chests, something like that. So we're gonna go through those quick first. Then we'll do Tower of Hera. A lot of hearts early too, which is actually usually you get items or hearts, not both. <laughs> so getting both is kind of nice. I'm not used to it. going to be useful both because it's useful to have, but mostly it's going to get us another item. Hey, two bottles. Even better. Okay, I can't do the bomb jump here, so we're just going to fall back down. Go around. enough for the Zora item, but we don't have the flippers to get the second one. Um, yeah, we'll do this quick. We do have the, um, this does mean we're gonna have to go around again, but that's okay. Doing this section with boots is like, not that bad at all. It's mostly if you're trying to have, if you have to walk the whole spiral without it, or dance it. Um, so we're at the bottom now. Let's do this. Uh, we don't have the old man, so we can't refill our hearts there yet, or save quit out, or I might have done it that way. enemies. I don't even care if I got hit there. Uh, Titan's Mitt and let's see what the item in here is. Thank you. 
Okay, so we don't have a source of fire, so we can't actually do the basement. There's a chance we can't actually do this dungeon yet, but we have access to so much right now that I don't think it matters. Nope, we're gonna have access. We may have to come back, but we'll have access. God, I hate mold arms in general, but yeah. Oops. to do the normal roundabout way, like the intended way, for getting the treasure chest, which is fine. Uh, actually, no, we wouldn't have had to. Oh well, we're already up the stairs. I forgot I have dash boots. Could have used that. Now we can just walk out. That's fine. It's only a few extra seconds. One item in the basement hidden behind that key. If we get the map from the boss, there's another item for us to find. If we don't get the map from the boss, that means we still have, uh, or that means we don't have anything else to find and we're good to go. I mentioned that the ha earlier that the hammer does as much damage to the comfort sword. Uh, the hammer does, uh, effectively, or the hammer only takes three hits instead of six against the boss. Normally, when you do the fifth hit, he speeds up. That is an item, not the map, so we do not have to go back into the dungeon. So yeah, you basically get to skip a phase of him moving fast by using the hammer. Because you're only doing hits one, three, and five to kill him. Um, okay, so I have a crazy idea that I just realized won't work because I don't have the Moon Pearl. Um, never mind. Um, yeah. We don't have the Moon Pearl. That's actually a problem. There's a good chance that it is in one of the other areas in the overworld we haven't been to yet. So we're gonna check, start checking those. Boots and flute, we're gonna cruise around the world in no time. Uh, we can't get into Desert Palace without the book currently. Actually, can you use, I, I, I'm gonna check if you can use the mirror, because this is, I'm curious now, I'm curious. Because if you can still use the mirror, we can actually do desert right now. Actually, we don't have a source of fire. Never mind. We can still look through desert and do everything but the boss, but... You know what? No. Screw it. I want to know. <laughs> For science. So we turn into a bunny. Okay. 
Can't open treasure chests, can't do anything, but I believe you can use the mirror. Aha. Yep. So I'm gonna do the front half of this, and if I happen to not- that way if I happen to find a fire source, we're good, and if I don't, I just do the boss room the next time I go back in. The only thing I can't do is the boss. I can get all the other treasure chests and stuff. Unless the key is in the boss room. Ice Palace has a bunch of money in it. Okay. Okay. So yes, with that small key in hand, we can now do the entire dungeon except for the boss. So... If we find a lamp or a fire rod, we're good. If we don't, I'll come back later. And that's fine. Generally, when I'm determining what order I'm going to dungeons and such in, my main priority is going to be uh, doing them in... Look at that! Doing them in a way that gives us uh, the best... Uh, basically minimizes the time we have to spend in dungeons that are not crystals. Um... Actually, well, I'm already here. Might as well. We'll do a quick check on Thieves Town. Uh, we can do Hammer Blacksmith. Or Hammer Pegs Blacksmith. Ruby Shop here. Like, we've got access to pretty much everything already. Everything that doesn't require Fire Rod. This may actually be a go mode seed, where we actually don't have to complete all the dungeons. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm just not gonna say it. Um. So yeah, I, I'm gonna just stick to the dungeons with the lowest requirements, the shortest times. The stuff you have to go through anyway. Blind is a good example. Um, we can do those east half of uh, Death Mountain in Dark World, even. Come on, that was terrible. I apologize. <laughs> I terrible. I apologize for my crappy play. Okay, another little minor glitch here is the hammer dash. Push an item and the uh, dash button at the same time. You can do a dash with that item. Uh, it's not super useful most of the time, but it's useful for that specific purpose of you can use it to go through can use it with the hammer to go through stuff. Um, let's see, what are we missing, actually, from just being able to go? Bow? Bombos. Or fire rod. Flippers. Like, that's... I feel like there's probably more, like I'm forgetting something, but... Um... Oh, I wasn't intending to do that. Oh well. Doing it now.
I wonder if it'll wait patiently while I go into Blind's dungeon, because that's actually what I was going to do. Maybe it will. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> If it doesn't, that's fine. We'll just go pick it up again. Shovel. We'll stop and do that on the way out of town. So that's now two items that we can get in that same area with the mirror and the shovel. Red mail. Survivability increases. Even if I play like crap. Target there. I approve. Step one done. Now to the basement. these enemies because we've got the, uh, the glove. This dungeon's really nice in that you don't actually need pretty much anything to beat it. You need a hammer to full clear it, but you don't actually need any items to just beat it. Dark Palace is a thing. And we'll do it. It's 50-50 whether this is the, uh, the compass or not. Oh, never mind. We're one small key down, which means that the boss has a small key, which means that the item is... Uh, yeah, compass. fun strats for this. <laughs> I love all the weird items you can do with this. Baker's job is a piece of cake.
Okay. <laughs> There's just two hits left. I was gonna try for it, but that's okay. Got greedy. Compass, which means that is a... I mentioned the key locked in its own room. That big treasure chest has a key locked in it now. Because we didn't need it. Okay, we did not get to keep the treasure chest. So we'll go grab that quick. Nah. I hate the treasure chest. But we get to go on a little tour with it. Uh, we're gonna have to come back and do the shovel minigame later. That's the one downside. You can't do the shovel minigame while you have somebody following you. Period. But you can warp back and forth into the light world. Um, so we're gonna do... That. We have to make sure he's following us. Very much did not need that. book so we can't do the uh, bombo sledge while we're here but when we're done we can run over and do pipe cave which I just realized I hadn't done yet wow it's like one of the best spots in the entire game and I didn't do it yet usually it's like one of the first places I run to okay we can't do that yet we don't have the flippers actually sure. I don't think there's a dungeon we can full clear right now. Uh, Bo kind of suggests... Uh, oh, silver. Nice. So, silver arrows is gonna make this a lot easier. Um, yeah, Bo suggests Palace of Darkness, but we don't have the lamp. And, uh, it's very useful to have the lamp for that. Uh, stuff. I'm just gonna do a quick overworld stuff, since we've got, again, boots and everything to just cruise through this. We've only done two dungeons, but we've got a ton of items, so once we actually start going through dungeons... Oh my gosh, Tempered Sword, nice. We're just going to be able to cruise through them. Um, like, basically the idea is, if you already have all the items you need, you don't need to stop and check the treasure chest anymore. So you can take a more direct route through most of the dungeons in the game. And some of the longer ones like Ice Palace, like Swamp Palace, like 
uh, Misery Mire. Basically, all you have to do is find the... the big key, and you're good. We're gonna go Northern Kakariko after this. Unless this is the flippers, we're gonna probably... Uh, I'm still gonna run into Zora quick. We can check the ledge item, at least know if we need to come back. It'll minimize what we have to do. <sighs> then we'll do, uh... Like I said, North Kakariko. Um, we can do the Bonk Cave, which is the one that you have to have... Uh, under the pile of rocks that you have to have the boots for. Okay, so we don't need the flipper for that. Um, do need to go down this way, which I've done and forgot. go do that quick, too. Okay, I have a plan. So we're gonna go to Sanctuary. We're gonna do a couple quick checks here. Uh, we're gonna go back to the graveyard because we need to do that from Dark World. We can pop up here real quick and do this, though. I don't get to do very often. The last couple runs I've done, I've had two hours before I found boots. <laughs> this is a real nice change. Uh, right now we are looking for uh, ideally the fire rod, the lamp, flippers. Honestly, the lamp would probably be the easiest. That gives us pulse of darkness, which we already have the bow for. Um, might have been faster to go up. Yeah, never mind. I haven't had to dip into any dependent dungeons yet. Um, we may have to here if we don't find one of those three items soon. But we've still got a few locations left. Uh, we've still got the three items in the back of Sahasrala. Um, which, if I'm gonna do a pendant dungeon, I'm gonna check the front half of, uh, Eastern Palace first. Because <laughs> it's Eastern Palace, it's the first dungeon. So we can check the Sahasrala items while we're there. Uh, theoretically we can pop into Palace of Darkness at the same time. Save ourselves a little time there. Uh, we're gonna run down here real quick. And do the shovel game. Only one item, it's kind of out of the way, but let's get it done while we're in the neighborhood. Uh, the item in this is actually not based on location in the randomizer. It's based on how many digs it takes. Okay. North Kakariko Shore. So the, stop, the spots we don't have yet are, like, the flipper spots, uh, the bumper cave, which we need the cape for. Um, we could check what item is there, I suppose, just to see if we need the cave. <sighs> which, might as well, it's one screen. Let's just do it quick. Information is valuable. Heart piece, not worth it. 
Uh, we've got the Spike Cave, which I think can be in logic because we've got enough stuff to do it. We've got the treasure chest outside Misery Mire and the cave out by Desert we could run and do. That's actually, those are pretty easy ones. We'll get a shield, sure. Keeping Dark Worlds, so we can do switch back and forth. Technically, you don't need to for this, but again, just being able to keep stay in the dark. Uh, Light World, you can travel faster, but Dark World lets you uh, get access to more. Actually, we're going to be going to Light World to get, or we're fluting anyway, so we actually didn't need to do that. That was the wrong thing. I pushed it too many times. <sighs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's got me second guessing myself. hearts. Well, between the hearts and the fact that we actually got some potions in logic, there's a good chance we're not gonna die un <laughs> unexpectedly, so that's good. Silver Arrows is also gonna make a lot of the boss fights go a lot faster that we've got left. Rupees again. So we can start popping our heads into the palaces that we can't complete, technically. Um, Misery Mire might, or is a longer one. Eastern is an and not unrequired dungeon. But... We can kind of do it on the way here and get the three sides for the chests on the way too. Right. That's not terrible. Another bottle, nice. Very. Hopefully we don't have to do any death warps. We've got the mirror, so that's really unlikely. Death warp meaning return or die to get back to the entrance quicker. Okay. Probably should have used the bug nut there since I actually have it. first dungeon in the game, which makes it a walk in the park as far as once you have enough items. But it has a bunch of treasure chests. Most of them are reachable. All of them but one are reachable without the lamp. 
technically two, but I can get to that one. I can do a couple of the dark rooms. Without the lamp. And by a couple, I literally mean a couple. I only can do two of them. I, f I might be able to finish it if I needed to, but it's one item and it's not a... Or, and it's a pendant dungeon, so I'm probably not gonna. An out of logic pendant dungeon boss? No. <laughs> uh, out of logic, by the way, refers to an item that you are reaching using a glitch or some other skill, like navigating through a room, a uh, pitch black room in the dark. Technically, the game assumes you have the lamp to get there, so there is a way to get the lamp before you can get that item. So many hearts. Yep, got that already. The hint tiles are actually based on the random answer. Um, just, you know. Big key's missing, which means that the big key is in its normal location. So technically, you'd have to have the lamp first. Again, big downside there is that means that it's not the lamp. Um, but the lamp could easily be in the eastern. See there, I made my way across, got the key. Take a couple hits there instead of having to kill it all or hunt down all the enemies in the room. there's nothing there because the last requirement was again the map. There's only one treasure chest left, which is the boss. We're gonna start Palace of Darkness while we're here. Um, this is a... There's a few dark sections in this, but I think we can get to a lot of treasure chests without. way. I'm doing this because uh, this is the route that requires the bow. So it's less likely to have a different item required, depending on how everything's blocked off, like the lamp. <laughs> items here. <sighs> that was not a good bomb. Okay. Thank you. 
basically avoiding the dark or the dark areas as long as possible. That one requires a key. It's usually just a key, but we found several other keys and small or er, small keys and chests. So there's always a possibility. But it is just a key. Big key. Okay. Well, we can get the non-dark rooms quick, and then we'll warp back out, I guess. There's still a chance that the not or that they are. Oh, that's the wrong way. There's still a chance that the lamp is in one of those rooms. Again, I was just kind of following the logic that we got the bow, and we haven't had to use it yet. Usually there's a... Or usually if the game gives you something, it's to unlock something. Now, it could be way later. It doesn't mean you have to do it now, but a lot of times it is. So the room that the, with the maze over to the left is one of the dark rooms. That's probably the hardest dark room in the game, and it's one that I cannot do by any means. Lamp. Call that. <laughs> Sometimes it feels really good to be right. Um... <laughs> This is one of those cases. I've done this room before, but it's not easy. It seems like it should be easy, but these treasure chests are slightly off-center, so you can usually get to them, but actually opening them tends to be a little tricky. It's weird. I was genuinely expecting it in Eastern, but this works too. I hate this maze so much. I can't even do this maze without or with the lantern most of the time. That was a bad bomb. Tried to be a little too eager. I'm assuming this is going to be faster than going back out uh, the other way. <laughs> back out through the maze. I could be wrong, but it's a, I think it's a fair guess. Skip a lot of block puzzles. I'm not good enough to do those blind. Take a hit. Technically, that means we can beat Misery Meyer. If we have the right medallion. At this point, I'll take, like, Ice Palace, Swamp, any of those, uh, with the... If we get go mode before we have to do certain, or a lot of those, I will be content. I 
do have to kill all those enemies to clear the room. Luckily, it only takes one shot. Silver arrows wreck most of the bosses. Fortunately, this leaves us relatively directionless again. Um. Check Misery Meyer quick. Part of me keeps thinking I should take a break, but part of me keeps thinking uh, we're kind of on a roll. <laughs> and I just want to keep going. So I'm just going to keep going. Excuse me. <laughs> and again. Okay. <sighs> okay, I need a minute to gather my thoughts and uh, take a quick break, so I'm gonna go ahead. Um, thank you for watching. I've been Rafecal, this is the Zelda Randomizer. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.